Hi, good afternoon. I'm David Waller and I am the Managing Director of DT Waller Family Butchers in Ledbury. I set this up in 1977, which seems a lifetime ago, with a beautiful wife, two young boys, and off I went with the backing of my wife. She looked after the home and the boys, and a good job she's made of that. And I ran the business, and I think I made a good job of that as well. Well, we tried to buy a lot of our animals local, but that's not all possible because uh, the, the abattoirs now aren't as local as they used to be. I mean, there used to be abattoirs all over, but now the government closing them down, the welfare. Our chickens come from the other side of Bromyard, which is local. And as I said, a lot of the meat is local as well. But as long as we know that the welfare of the animals that we get from these farms are well and truly A1, then we'll deal with them. There again, uh, our pork is bought locally in Herefordshire. Uh, we use it for most of our products and for the shop itself as well. Uh, we, we manufacture into our award-winning sausages. When I say award-winning, they are proper award-winning sausages and we've won some really good awards with them. Uh, three counties and the heart of England and some big entries took part and we've done really well in it. Uh, our bacon, our bacon yet again, we dry cure it and we have our own smoker. We use our oak chippings and we smoke our own bacon and that is used from our free range pork. And also uh, our pork pies, yes we do make some nice little uh, individual pork pies but we do, Matthew started making them a few years ago, uh, a celebration pork pie which is uh, three tiered and you can have a, 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 like a pork with apple a pork with garlic and cream and a pork with egg, anything like that, or mix it all about by the way around. That's quite unique and that, that goes down really well as well as a do and um, stands out quite nice on the table. Our beef has matured for over 28 days. Uh, we try to push it a little bit further, but we're out to 28 days and then the customer buys it, there's three or four days after that. So it's well and truly matured and looked after. The beef that we buy, as you say, the grading of it has that lovely little bit of bark over it and that nice marbling in the middle. Now that marbling in the middle then, when you cook it, it melts through and then it makes, them, don't say it, makes it more tender, but it gives it a beautiful, lovely flavour. Yeah, you can. You can eat our meat in lots of lovely hotels in the area and, uh, and at the restaurants. We do some wonderful restaurants. Uh, a lot of them I've served for oh, donkey's years. Um, one that I've served basically since I've been here, we've both grown old together, but um, yeah, we do. That Nathan deals with all that side of it, as I said earlier on, and um, he looks after you very, very well. You, we do like sometimes two deliveries a day. The chef might come in the morning and order something, come lunchtime, they have a busy lunchtime, and then we then make an effort to get there in the afternoon or on the way home and drop him off for them. So we, yeah, we have a good, uh, we have a good relationship with all our, with all our catering. Oh wow, it killed the catering overnight um, with, the, with the hotels and the restaurants and all that closing. Um, it was hard on them and it was hard on us on the catering department. But saying on that side of it, we did do a lot of deliveries to help the community and the outlying areas with, with, with delivering their orders for them because they couldn't get out, but we then would get to them and help them out. I must admit though that Christmas was a little bit of an ordeal for us all, but we managed it with the floods and everything like that. That was a little bit of a hard time, but I think the two of my boys were left Ledbury about half past six and they finished delivering their last order about eight o'clock Christmas Eve. So I think 99.9, .9, I can't think of anybody that didn't get it. If they did, I'm deeply sorry, but we did our very, very best to get out there. It was one of the worst, um, what can I say, climatic conditions I think anybody really has had to deal with in delivering parcels or delivering meat but yeah we did it, we worked hard, the boys worked hard, all the boys, when I say the boys I mean our staff and all customers are boys because we are a team here um, and I get reminded of that. <laughs> Well, the future of the business, I think, will get stronger and stronger. We have three outlets. We have the main one that is my little baby here in Ledbury. Uh, we have a nice little outlet in Colwall, which is going well. There's a lovely little outlet in, in, uh, in Forrester Dean, uh, Colford, which is Y Valley. Uh, that's doing very well. Uh, but yeah, I think the future is very, very good for us. But it's a little bit beyond me at the moment because now we're into mail ordering 
and that's all done online or you can phone up the shop and order it but a lot of it's done online uh, where we, we pack it all in this wonderful boxes where it is then sealed with ice packs in there and it's delivered the next day um, as I say Matthew runs all that with Nathan it's a little bit above me I'm behind my little counter but the boys know what promoting this but I think will be the future my heart will always be here with the people uh, which as you know I've been here like was it 40 odd years and my friends now customers have become friends and we've all grown up together basically a lot of us so it's good so my heart's here but the future will be with my boys and I'll still be about getting on their nerves getting under their feet but mail order I think will be the thing of the future right. yes we do have a website our website is as you can see here wallersbutchers.co.uk